Hello everyone, my name is Aiden O'Connor. I am the Seattle YWeb Communications Chair and I'm making this video today to share with you a little bit about my self-love and self-care practices and um, how I um, like to maintain my sanity, the activities I do, so I'll be sharing a few videos of that and also maybe what I consider self-love and self-care and how I have worked through that through my life and, and the journey that I've taken to get to where I am today. Um, so without further ado, let's continue on. Okay, so what does self-love mean to me? Um, I would have to say that self-love means um, accepting yourself. Self-love to me means that I recognize that I have these characteristics about myself, like I'm overly critical of myself or I overanalyze situations and um, what people may mean by saying certain things. So sometimes that gets in the way of my mental health and can make me not feel so good and, and can be very frustrating to have to think about. Um, so self-love me to me means that I am working past that recognizing that those are some things that I could work on for sure, but not hating myself for it and understanding that everybody has shortfalls and nobody's perfect. So self-love to me means acceptance, full acceptance of everything about yourself. Um, not necessarily loving that about yourself, but accepting it and working past it, not letting it run your life. You know? So. Okay, so a little bit about my self-love um, and self-care journey. I'd say um, I really became cognizant about my self-love and self-care and needing to create practices about that when I got into college, I would say. Um, during high school, I wasn't in such a stressful environment um, and I didn't have a lot of things going on that impacted my mental health. I was just sort of in a, a pretty happy place anyways um, and comfortable, you know, it was very comfortable and, and stuff. So going to college, pushing myself outside of my comfort zone and also um, getting on a really heavy, hard course load, being in the STEAM field, definitely um, made me realize that I needed to start doing something to maintain my mental health. And um, I think that's when um, I found out how much and how important it was for me to remain physically active and to go work out, to get my heart rate up, get some adrenaline going, just to feel better and to get myself out of my head. Um, and I feel like even during college, while I realized that I needed to, to do things to practice self-love and self-care, I probably didn't do it very well. <laughs> um, I was very, very busy. And I definitely, you know, struggled a little bit with those practices during college. Um, but after college, I had some time to live abroad and um, be by myself. And that was also really hard. Um, I think in that time, I really recognized how much organization and structure um, play a role in my mental health and also should play a role in my self-love and self-care practices. Um, and so that's sort of when I started realizing there's another layer to this. I can't just work out. Um, I need structure and organization to feel, um, okay. And when I came back to the U.S., I, um, it was during the pandemic <laughs> and I, got a job for, um, a biotech company. And then that's when I started realizing like, whoa. Yeah, um, I don't have very much time and I need to prioritize things to make sure that I'm okay. Um, I need to, to practice um, self-love and self-care and I need to do the things that I know from experience that are going to help me. So I started, um, you know, trying to ensure that I worked out and that I gave myself time to wake up in the morning and organize my day. 
Um, and I will allow this to segue into the videos that I'm about to show you of things that help keep me sane and um, I'll sort of talk you through those for a little bit. But thanks for sticking with me. It's been good. I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so as I just mentioned, I really need structure and organization in my life to um, stay sane. So one of the ways that I practice self-care is by waking up a little extra early in the morning. I am not a morning person. It is definitely hard for me, but getting up at least an hour, hour and a half before I know that I'm going to start work, um, that really helps me maintain my sanity because it gives me time to sort of reflect, wake up and think about the things I need to get done today and organize my thoughts before I head into work and, and get busy um, and really focus. So I like to make my coffee, um, give my dog a few pets and, and give her some love in the morning and, and sit out on my back patio, which you'll see in just a sec. But yeah, I really enjoy this time to collect myself. It is one of the main things that I can tell really helps. I know that I'm not very good at it actually at all, but um, it really, really does help me. It's one thing that I need to practice more. Making a morning drip coffee can be a very pleasing and calming experience. Um, listening to the pour of the water and watching the steam and looking out the front window can be really nice. So I like that too. Okay, so gardening is something that I sort of picked up um, just this year because I have outdoor space in Seattle, which is new for me, but um, I grew up gardening a little bit and I always sort of enjoyed it, but now I really do. Um, it gets me outside, that's me, and I get some time to get out of my head, be out in the open air, just have room to think really, and also you get to sort of fixate and care for something that isn't you. <laughs> um, so this is an activity that I really enjoy just to, you know, refresh and get away from my busy work life. All right, so here again is my puppy, Sersha. Um, she is really just been an amazing thing for my mental health. She is so fun and energetic and I just love her so much. Um, she is one of those things where I can just go to her, give her some pets and love and play a little bit, get out of my head. And that's a really important step in, in practice that I have for self-care. I also enjoy going on walks. It helps me get out of my head um, and listen to other things rather than just being in my room, listening to music or, or Zoom calls. That can be really helpful, just getting out of my space. And on top of that, we have park time. <laughs> um, I think you might be seeing a pattern here. Being outside is really important to me. Being outside with my dog is also extremely important to me. And going to the park with her is one of those really fun little getaways. Um, she loves fetch <laughs> and it's fun to watch her do it too.
At the beginning of this video, I mentioned how important it was for me to work out and get active. And so running is one of those things that I've been doing to get my heart rate up and feel a bit better. It's a important step in my self-care. This is me dying. <laughs> okay, so mountain biking is my newest hobby. Um, it is a trifecta of self-care. It's got being outdoors, getting physical activity, and being with friends um, all in one. And I really loved doing this to help with my mental health. Next up is hiking. It's just one of those great activities that I use to practice self-care. To finish off my video, you get to see some nighttime cuddles. This has become a little ritual of mine where I love to give my, my girls some pets right before we go to sleep and um, it's just one of those last things to get me off my phone or whatever I'm doing and be a little bit more present and love on my dog a little bit. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've had a great time going over my self-love, self-care journey and practices and I hope that this may have helped you a little bit or given you a little bit of guidance. Until next time.